guys, today I'm going to show you how to create a black and white image in the style of Ansel Adams. First thing you have to do is take your background layer, drag it to the new layer button at the bottom of the panel to make a copy of your original layer. Now we're going to go up to image and adjustments and we're going to turn it black and white. And you can do that by choosing black and white, desaturating it, there's so many different options, but we're going to choose black and white. And I know from already experimenting with this image that there aren't very many reds, yellows, and greens. But I know there are cyans. And I can see when I turn them down, it makes it very grainy. And I don't like that. So I'm going to turn the cyan back up. And I'm going to experiment by moving around the blue slider. When I'm moving around the blue slider, I can see the blues in the image get darker and they can also get really bright as well. Um, but I'm just going to turn it on just a little bit so I can adjust it again in curves. So go to Image and Adjustments and open up my curves. This is where all the magic happens. You see this histogram here? You have all these spikes. There's a lot in the gray area. That's what those spikes mean. And this diagonal line is where you control how much light and how much dark is in the image. You click on the line to set a point and drag. And you can see, you can make it super extreme, super dark or super bright by just dragging on this line. So I'm going to pull down in the darks to darken my darks and I'm going to pull up on my whites to brighten the whites. And as you can see, it's just enhancing the values of the image. Now, this is very simple. We can, I could go in another time and clean it up so it's not so um, grainy looking, but we're going to actually want to enhance around the mountains and bring out details. So I'm going to make a copy of my black and white layer. Then I'm going to go up to Filter, Other, and High Pass. And High Pass will add details back into the image. If I bump it up, you can see it looks kind of that weird HDR look, and if I go super low, it turns the image totally gray. I want to go somewhere in the middle where I just start to see the highlights around the details, like the highlights around the mountains. And just hit OK. Then go to the layer adjustment and hit overlay. And you can see that it instantly brightens more whites and darkens the darks and just brings out the details. Now, like I said, this is a very simple way of creating a black and white image, and there's many other tutorials and things online that you can follow for a more complicated and detailed instruction. But for this now, what I want you to do is go to File, Save As, save it as whatever you're going to save it, but make sure you choose in the format that you choose a JPEG. And hit Save. Google Classroom does not like Photoshop files. And that's that.